Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, the guidance coming in today and even this evening continues to pull back on the snowfall amounts for areas along and north of the river, and that would include the Evansville Metro, but hanging on to potentially more significant amounts down in our southeastern counties. And then we're still slated to warm back to normal by uh, Sunday afternoon, but we got a lot of wind and cold and a little snow to deal with first. Today, another nice early March day, 32 the low and 56 the high, most of the area in the low to mid 50s, and we'll be back in that ballpark again if not Sunday, certainly on Monday of next week. But the alerts, it's a winter weather advisory for most of the tri-state except the U.S. 50 corridor, 6 p.m. tomorrow night until 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. But it's all quiet right now on live first morning Doppler. And the snow really won't get going until tomorrow afternoon. And that continues to be my first warning focus. First the snow and then the frigid air coming in behind it on strong gusty winds tomorrow night. Now it's going to be moving in from the northwest tomorrow, but temperatures initially above freezing, so the snow may mix with some rain and a lot of it may melt as it comes on down and then the heavier amounts will kind of kick in after sunset down in our southeastern counties. I think for many of us this is going to be less than an inch but even less than an inch with temperatures going below freezing tomorrow night could lead to some slick conditions. Heavier one to two even two and a half inch amounts are still possible but more likely down in the southeastern corner of the tri-state. Now the snow will be ending tomorrow evening but that's when it turns very windy and that free Frigid air comes in, dropping temperatures into the upper teens by daybreak on Saturday and holding us below freezing all day long on Saturday. All quiet right now on our RoofClaim.com tower camera out of downtown uh, Owensboro. Here's downtown, well, we had downtown Evansville. We lost it there in our Superior Ag Tower camera. Temperature 40 degrees. Winds are calm and we have upper 30s to low 40s across the area right now. We'll be just dropping back into the 30 to 35 degree range by daybreak tomorrow morning. The clouds are beginning to slowly move in. The snow is flying from southeastern Kansas to just south of Kansas City through northern Missouri up into northern Illinois. And that band of snow is going to diminish some tomorrow morning then pick up again as it moves into the tri-state from the northwest tomorrow afternoon. So here's an updated future tracker since we last joined you earlier this evening. All quiet overnight as the clouds increase. No problems for the morning commute as the clouds continue to thicken tomorrow morning. 11 a.m. it's still quiet. Temperatures tomorrow though will be critical. Our highs will be in the morning by day daybreak we're looking at 30s pretty much area wide rising for a while we'll see some 50s down in our southeastern counties could get into the low to mid 40s here in the metro probably not out of the upper 30s in our northwestern counties and then temperatures fall in the afternoon mid 30s here in the metro by 3 p.m. and then by sundown we are at or below the freezing mark and that's when we'll begin to see some of that snow sticking on area roadways but road temperatures are pretty warm so again the main roads may be okay and perhaps until later in the evening when temperatures begin to get into the mid 20s and that's by midnight tomorrow night. Future Tracker brings the leading edge of the snow which may begin as a rain snow mix into the Evansville area around 2 p.m. The back edge pulling out at around 8 o'clock so prime time for accumulation here in the metro will be sundown until about 8 o'clock and then the snow clears our eastern counties by midnight tomorrow night. Winds will be picking up at that point gusting over 30 miles per hour. We'll see some clearing by daybreak break on Saturday and then despite mostly sunny skies a windy and frigid day highs only around 30 on Saturday afternoon and then we'll be back into the low 20s by daybreak on Sunday a few morning clouds but will turn mostly sunny it'll turn very windy but the winds from the south taking temperatures Sunday afternoon into the lower 50s. So snowfall amounts, as I mentioned, I think for many of us will be under an inch. Now the possible exception would be isolated one inch amounts just northwest of Evansville and perhaps heavier one to even two, two and a half inch amounts down here in the southeastern corner, Muhlenberg, Southern Ohio County, Central City, Greenville, Hartford, Beaver Dam. The heavier snow is setting up here in central and eastern Kentucky and, and where it sets up will determine just how far west it gets and whether it does impact some of our southeastern counties tomorrow night. But in Evansville, most of the guidance now an inch or less. We still have one model that brings it up closer to two inches, but that's the only one, and we're trending down. So clouds increasing overnight, 28 to 36. A wide range for starters tomorrow, 57 to the southeast, 35 to the northwest, but falling as the snow moves on in. Snow will be ending tomorrow evening as the winds pick up. 
and mostly sunny Saturday, windy and frigid, 30 for the high, 52 though on Sunday, and then it's back to spring next week, around 60 Monday and Tuesday, maybe a little light rain, and then we make a run at 70 degrees next Thursday. But I think we'll be okay for most of the daylight hours tomorrow, but tomorrow evening we could begin to see slick spots, less than an inch here in Evansville, but our southeastern counties could see an inch or two of snow. All right. Thank you, Wayne.